All right, guys, so for this part of the episode or whatever Octavius does with this part, I'm going to be sanding all of this down on this hood for our little go-kart mower here. And as you can see, we have this nice red down here. I have not sanded this down yet. I've sanded down these parts right here, and as you can see, you can see some bare metal and some of the underlying paint. This is all nice and smooth, except for this part right here. And uh, I'm basically just getting rid of, getting rid of any rust and uh, getting this thing ready so that we can paint it some other different color to match whatever we wanted to do with this. So I'll go get a, I'll go ahead and get the uh, camera set up so that we can get a nice time lapse going. <laughs> All right, so the majority of this side is done. Like some, a lot of it's smooth, sanded down enough to the point where other paint can grip on top. And now it has to be washed because as you can see, there's a decent bit of the paint that came off on there. And I do also have to take these stickers off. I'll deal with the stickers and this side off camera. And then after I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and wash this and deal with all those stickers and get some more of the rust like that off. So yeah, uh, I'll show this thing off once I've got all that done. All right, so now that we have a lot of these stickers taken off, um, I had one thing I wanted to do. I wanted to cut both of these little bits off and so that we could uh, probably make like a little air scoop for this thing just to make it look a little bit cooler and for the uh, front bit right here that goes in this area right here on it I just wanted to cut this and uh, put a little bit of uh, metal mesh on there all right so when you're gonna be cutting stuff like this with like what I have with like a little cutting wheel on it you want to be some level of safe, so we have a face shield, some hearing protection, and gloves, just because this thing will be kicking up sparks, and the blade may potentially fail, and... Earthquake! No, Captain. hit you in the face so I've seen this stuff work before and I do trust my life with this so let's get to cutting Alright, so now that we've cut this open and cut these things out and cleaned this up a little bit, as you saw in the other segment, it was like that far out. I trimmed it back a little bit and I also cut this one off camera. But now that they're cleaned up, we have to start making our parts. Um, the scoop is definitely going to be the most interesting part in my opinion. But the mesh that we're going to be putting on here is just this little chicken wire that we've got sitting right here. And I made sure that the headlights would still be able to go on because we actually have the headlights in our little parts bin. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and figure out how we're going to mount this and go from there. Alright, so... 
for the grill that we're going to be making, the chicken wire that is that I showed earlier, uh, I ended up cutting a little piece out after making a little template. I just took this piece of paper, placed the front end on top of it, and took like a silver Sharpie marker to it, and cut this piece out. It has a little bit extra so that we don't have any gaps, and so it fits nice. And I'll probably end up welding this in place, just tacking it in a couple spots so that that's there, but, you know, I don't know if the camera caught that, but it should look cool. And uh, for the hood scoop that we are going to be making, I made a couple rough templates with some cardboard, just cutting out one for the, like that's the actual shape of the cutout, and then extending it a little bit, and then basing off of this, I made this a little angle, so we should have something that does, oh dang it, come on, something a little bit like this. It's not too aggressive to the point where it's like a gaping maw, but it's a nice little subtle scoop, so I think that'll look nice. And I took those little outlines and I put them onto this piece of metal and I'm going to be cutting those out with the grinder again. And because I'm going to be doing this flat, the workbench that I have is wood and I don't think that's exactly safe to be launching sparks directly into it. So I just took another piece of metal that I have and just put it underneath this so that that catches the sparks instead of the table. So let's go ahead and get to cutting here. Alright, so now that we have all of our parts, the grill mesh and the little scoop that I just cut out, now it's time to put them together. Now I am going to be welding these parts together and I'm going to be welding this onto there. So this is going to end up taking a larger portion of safety because um, with the masks that you used for welding, you can't really see fire, and welders have a tendency to cause fires on wood like this. So I'm going to be welding over top of this so that it can minimize the chance of a fire. And all of this stuff that I have over here, all these tools that are just laying right here, I'm going to move them off to decrease the chance of any of these like plastic bits melting or causing a fire over here and destroying a bunch of tools that I'm going to end up needing to use. So once I get everything sorted out, I'll go ahead and get a camera angle of uh, me welding this together and welding this together and then putting it on that hood. Alright, so when I tried to weld up the chicken wire, it didn't exactly work as you could see. Some of the mesh came apart. I'm guessing the welder, uh, goes at too high of a temp so that it just ends up melting all of this so that's complete trash and I ended up making this out of the same stuff that the scoop parts are made out of I just decided that this would probably look a little bit cooler and it does the same job I guess it fills in that hole and it still looks cool and dang it I mean, I think it looks pretty okay. Nobody cares what you think. That was some bad camera work, but yeah. I think that might look cool. So, let's get welding. Alright, 
so now it's in. Uh, as you can see, my welds aren't exactly the greatest, but they do hold. I'm gonna have to clean up that hole over there. Um, yep, it's gonna hold. It's gonna stay on. It's gonna be good. Now I just gotta clean this up, make sure all the sides are good. And then after I clean this up, go ahead and get started on this thing to go ahead and put on the hood that's over there. It's gonna be awesome. All right, so I have this made, the air scoop. It's not the greatest as you could probably see. There's some holes in there and it's a little burnt and crispened up. Original or extra crispy? But it's good enough. It just needed to be tacked in. It's not like this thing's going to be supporting 100 pounds. And it's basically just going to go ahead and sit right there. Uh, right about there. So yeah. Eh, should be nice. It's not too aggressive of an angle. And yeah. Uh, I'll go ahead and get the welder set back up again because I had to use this to give me some bare metal to work with. And then I'll go ahead and start recording. All right, so as you guys can see, these aren't exactly the greatest welds. There are some good spots, like right there, that are some good welds, but we've got some basically popcorn over here. That's what it sounded like. And, uh, you know, just some tacks. This isn't even connected, but it holds on nice and tight, basically. Picked it up right there. I'm not going to test my luck with that, but I'm going to try and continue to create a whole bead along this so that we have a stronger connection and maybe fill in some of these gaps. I might just go over it with Bondo at some point, but this is the basic concept. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of all this on the mower that we have over here, the hood and the grill that's down there so that uh, Octavius can add it to the video. But yeah, this is basically it. Thanks for watching.